السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, we are going today to discuss a new lecture in psychology for uh, uh, for medical students about cognitive function of the brain before we start the lectures first we have to do, uh, announce and to declare again the main and the important point to protect yourself from coronavirus which is very important and very risky today so you have to take as much as possible the main requirement and prevention technique about this this is before any studying in lecture for the first lecture the, the, today the lecture is cognitive function of the brain will be presented by Professor Muhammad Adil Hadidi, Professor of Psychiatry, Mansoura University in Egypt. The main psychological function of the brain are the three domains. First domain is uh, cognitive function, behavior, and emotion. Every person to do any function or to do any behavior, and the behavior usually is doing through speech, walk, doing motor activity, have first to know what's happened and how it's happened and this is done by called cognition. While emotion is the energy and the power to do the action. So every person to do any action at any time in, in his life, any action any action is any action eating going playing doing you have to know some information and this is through the cognition and you have to have the energy to do this through the emotion either positive energy or negative energy and lastly we have the behavior so the main psychological function of the brain is cognition emotion and behavior and today main subject will be the cognitive function what is the cognitive function of the brain? Cognitive function of the brain first cognition is the ability to recognize and process complex tasks adequate that distinguish human from other species. Mental activity associated with attention, orientation, perceptions, memory, thinking, and executive function including concept, concept formation, planning, organization, and problem solving, language. So this is the seven main domains for cognitive function of the brain. As we say before in lecture before about attention and information processing, any information get from outside, you have to expose to this information and then you have to be oriented and attentive to this information catching information comprehend this information accepting this information to what i have known and this is information processing with which was discussed before in lecture and very important part for the cognitive function the domains of cognitive function we say before attention orientation memory language perceptions and executive function which is include thinking executive function conception uh, concept formation and problem solving we already studied before attention and concentration memory and so we have to study perception language and executive function of the brain in this lecture we discuss mainly about perception perception giving definition Definition is a giving meaning to the stimulus or to sensation. It is our gate to know the world around us and to acquire new knowledge. What is meant by this giving meaning? For example, if you see your mobile, if you see this, you see something. What is this or what means this thing is give is a perception. So just seeing the object from outside is seeing but giving the meaning is mean perception and for example this is a star on the left side if you see just i see this star this star is pointed five ended uh, diagram and so on and giving the meaning it means stars it is the perception how it's done we have first stimulus and this stimulus is perceived through visual pathway and receptor after visual pathway and receptor it will be sensate 
uh, you will take sensation which is vision in the primary visual area after that the information will be transferred to what is called associative area of the brain which is giving the meaning for this object what you see so I have to perceive well I have to have a stimulus and uh, after that good visual pathway and receptors then primary area to see till that till this point it is only vision after that giving the meaning is through associative area of the brain which is perception what associative area we have in the brain we have associated area for visual pathway which is area 18 and 19 associative area for auditory pathway which is area 22 associated sensory area which is area 5 and 7 how people can perceive to study perception and how people perceive and sometimes perceive something well and on the other time they don't perceive well and this will be studied under what is called gestal psychiatry gestal psychiatry gestal psychiatry is uh, depend on two main factors that would, would affect the perception first is stimulus factor second is personal factor and for the stimulus factors we have two items which is figure ground relationship and building up the figure for the personal factor we will be studied later first with stimulus factor and in the stimulus factor we have what's called figure ground relationship what is figure ground relationship in the figure like what you see now we have the car which is the figure and we have the house which is the background sometimes people want to perceive the background as a figure and the car as a background so it depends about what you want to perceive if I want to perceive mainly the car so the car will be the figure and the background will be the house the most if the figure is well demarcated from the background so you perceive better so the this the, the, uh, so the relation between figure and the background is very important to help us and so on another example for figure uh, background relationship if you see this figure you can see and if I want you to guess how old is the age of this woman if you you can see this figure in two two figures according what you see is a figure and what you see as a background and sometimes you can see it's at a very young age lady or a very old age lady another example for this if we see for example only the figure is the white color it is written as layer sometimes you can see it as a face a face uh, for the samples also for figure ground relationship we can see this is two va two faces facing each other or you can see it as vase if you see the figure is the f black so you have two faces if you see the figure is white so you, st you see as vase Stimulus factors, second part is building up the figure. Building up figure, how we perceive. For, for example, first one is similarity. If I ask you uh, what, is, what you see now. Yes, some of you say we have three hearts and four bars. Actually, it is not three hearts. It's two hearts with bright color and one heart with dark color and four bars why people collect the three hearts together and four bars together the collection for your brain that making this is occur due to the collection for all depending on similarity because the three heart has the same shape and the same size although they don't have the same color but your brain collects them similarly so it will be easy to perceive it as three hearts and four parts then to perceive two and one and four parts 
also what you see how many o's here yes some of you say we have five o's others say three and two and it is more easier to see three o's and two o's why three and two it depends on approximately so being near together making them as a group and so your brain is easily to see this three two three and the two better than to see five together good form and com completion or cooperation what is built also in similarity like this it is easy to see uh, the figure like this either horizontal or either vertical so it can be easy example how many parts in this picture yes you can say eight parts but you can say four pairs and actually your brain see it's uh, four pairs and sometimes in even people who say it's eight eight parts uh, they all they previously see it as four pairs and multiply four to multiply two so it is eight so it is your brain is actually perceive it's in more easy way to uh, do approximately good for what you see now some say duck yes you can see it as duck but actually it is not complete duck because there is many part of the drawing is not completed but your brain to make it easy it can be collect or connect the part which is not completed together so you perceived it as continuity so the brain continue what is missing part so you can see it as uh, together here also symmetry sometimes your brain seeing something which is wrong as if it is right because it is symmetry together closure if we see some when he see some people who he see the figure like above they say it's oval oval but in fact it is not over because it is not complete so they, the brain try to closure the part which is not closed rectangle and triangle and of course it is not rectangle and triangle but your brain as an easy way to perceive try to close this and making it easy to perceive what is the personal factor personal factor it's a habit and familiarity some people who have good habit to take or to perceive certain uh, items are easy to perceive set is selective preparedness to perceive certain figures or object according to our interest and expectation at the moment emotion feeling and emotion influence one's capacity for accurate or objective perception lover disregards the fault and defect of beloved one yes it is your way to say that love is blind it will take over your mind what you think is love is truly not and you need to evaluate your mind it means that being in love or being in emotional state that can be affecting your perception and people who are in love actually don't get uh, accurate information about loved one and this is the effect of emotion on the personal fact aesthetic factors it means that individual tendency to perceive a good or a beautiful uh, part and disregard irregular meaningless ugly uh, thing it depends on the critical ability of the individual suggestibility if you have suggested to see something or to perceive something it will be easy or to see this part drives and motivation it's like uh, people who are traveling in the desert and suffering from intense sarat they can see an imaginary pools or water which turn it to the sea to sand and this is not true and this is only depend on the drives thinking and executive function of the brain we have to do some play or some game for example we have here different colors of squares try to connect each pair colors together without making a crossover line 
is for example white connected to white green to connect to green red to connect to red without making over cross line think in this and answer will be later we have here main six six matches sticks and we have to make or to form four equilateral triangle how we can make these four equilateral triangle together try to think we have this uh, part or this material and we have to mount this candle on the port and we have to fix the candle on the port can we can we can do this okay what we have do in these three figures or these three puzzles we have to do thinking and thinking is very important part and is part for executive function what we are already doing is thinking executive function are the set of higher cognitive ability that control and regulate other cognitive ability and action needed for the future orientation and purpose for the behavior we have many numerous executive function we include inhibition it's the ability to this uh, or to suppress the dominant and autonomic automatic component response in favor for more goal appropriate one concept formation problem solving and decision making and abstract thinking and creativity all these factors we can use in thinking and to make thinking so thinking is thinking or ideation is a complex mental activity consists of development and manipulation of symbolic representation and it depends on using these tools language samples diagrams concepts and the combination of all the above tools that include language samples these are vocal and uh, vocal and written expression used in the first place for communication between human being and in the second place for uh, ideation of activity diagrams and the maps and the music they are simple which represent complex situation with multiple relation among items concept formation a concept is a relation or the rule which classify which classify together these characteristics processed by object or or, by, or the subject it is carried out by noticing the similarity or dissimilarity among various items so we have three types of concept formation generalization is, is discovering the common feature among is in this similar object differentiation is discovering or the discovering the different characters in a similar object abstraction it means is higher order generalization concepts or combination of these rules together can be help in thinking we classify thinking into many ways classification according to function classification according to emotion classification according to reality classification according to consciousness and classification according to form why we think according to function sometimes we think for imaginative thinking it's serving only in one self satisfaction and pleasure don't have to do some else more than to f more to uh, to give you pleasure pleasure and satisfaction while purpose thinking it's want to to solve a problem or you have something to do and so you have to aim to do not just a pleasure so giving an imaginative thinking it can be either free imagination there is no direction of what you control or what you're thinking you just leave your brain to think in the way we don't control this it is like imaginative play of children 
when his children play together he imagined himself as a hero or something or policeman and he move in imaginative play it is one way of thinking daydreaming when you are set to, together when you, when you are set with yourself and dreaming with the future what will be what will do and so on and night dreaming is another example for free imagination control the imagination the here we have imagination but you control this you direct this imagination to reach something for example, I control the, my imagination to do artistic production like writing a novel, painting, drawing, remember something and I throw, I want to imagine and I want to make this imagination or this production. Invention, it means that making something or I want to create something and so I imagine it what this thing do and how it can be do and how, how it's function and so on this is invention on the other hand for purpose of thinking we have problem solving which is first way and we will take later what is problem solving and how we have to solve the problem we have a problem and we have to solve this and second part is logical or rational thinking it's we have to think in logical way or in the rational way for, for the future and lastly the decision making how to make decision first for the problem solving how we solve the problem the our aim is to overcome obstacles and to reach our goals so in the first step we identify the problem gather information relate, relative to the problem try to solve uh, to, to try to search for solution then evaluate the result and in this searching for solution we have different strategy first strategy is trial and error in this individual in this method the individual try one possible solution after another one until one is work so he choose randomly what he think it can work and if it's failed he uh, tries the other solution and so on till he reach the one which is uh, good and, and his appropriate and it is effective method but it take much time because you may choose several solution before you reach the right one inside thinking and this way we do the mental manipulation for this information it's like trial and error but you do this in your mental on your brain not in actually or over situation and before you try so i try in my brain all available solution and i find the most appropriate one and this one i will try actually third one is depending about experience for example cooker who know well time needed to cook bread he can expect by his experience the actual time for needed to make a cake that is depending try to solve his situation or to solve his problem usually depending on his experience allergism and Algorithm, which is a way said, uh, so it's done by step by step problem solving. So I do first step yes or no. If this yes, I will have to ask a question and so on. And it usually draw in diagram like this. If I have something, I have to ask right yes or no. If yes, I have to do so, so or so. If so, I have to do so and so. And this diagram till I reach the solution I needed. This is problem solving. Second part is decision making. When we do decision making, it is way for problem solving when which we try to choose the best among the alternative uh, way to do. So if I have to choose one decision, I have to choose one decision. One is good one is bad what I would choose I have to do what is called pawns and cons in decision making we have two factors utility which is mean the value we assigned for the outcome is it valuable or not and probability does this it will work or not what's likelihood that it okay 
and what is likelihood it will be the outcome so we normally prefer if we have high usability and high probability if the situation is highly uh, usable or highly value and is high probable to work it is very good decision and it is a good decision also sometimes we can choose a situation which is highly valuable by but not so uh, probable it's like lottery ticket if you have lottery ticket you know it is if you win the lottery it can get very high variability also it is very uh, less probability however decision making is subject some bias it is not usually or not in all times is very good some bias that can be affecting decision making for example experience as we say before sometimes people generalize their experience in small situation for longer uh, larger situation or larger example they believe that it was work before and it will work every time and it is usually not right for example if i do some test or do some uh, trial in a small group i cannot expect it to usually done in every times Framing or bi framing bias, it means that the way you present the situation or the way you present the manner. For example, in a study of undergraduates, <coughs> study on undergraduate people, medical treatment or student found it is more effective and were more adept to recommend to recommend the treatment for the other when they uh, told that you have success rate for 50% rather than if they don't uh, if they said for them it is have 50% failure rate so for example i say in uh, that um, semitidine which is anti uh, acid this is drug will do or will improve your hyperacidity by 50% or will improve the patient hyperacidity by 50%. This, if I say this in lecture, many people recommend this for treatment more than if I say it will fail in 50%. So the method of introduction of information can affect the decision making. That is why in which the question is formed will influence their decision. Classification thinking according to reality, we have realistic thinking and we have idealistic thinking. Realistic thinking <coughs> in this type of individual thinking in real problem reach realistic conclusion using facts and principles which are accepted by society. It is a realistic. Idealistic, it means that individual think what should be rather than what's actually present. It depends upon using higher ethical, moral, and standard and philosophical orientation. We have also other way of thinking or biased thinking is egocentric thinking. If the individual is think, but it is not depend only on thinking, but his emotion play a role in his thinking. For example, one plus one, it's equal one and a half or equal two and a half. It depends. For example, if your father of, or if a father have uh, advantage for trip for his son or daughter, sometimes he say for son, it's okay, you can travel. It's easy to say for his son, you can travel abroad. But when he have the same chance for his daughter, many of the fathers say no. This is in our culture that because the father usually fear about the dangers that daughter will face, not on the, his son. Objective thinking, we have no any emotional factors that could affect my thinking. So what I see is right is right, what I see wrong is wrong. 1 plus 1 is usually equal to no else any answer, whatever the emotional state. Conscious thinking is type of thinking an individual is conscious while he is thinking. While in unconscious thinking, sometimes we think and we don't know 
that we are thinking. So in conscious thinking, you know that you are thinking because you have a problem. But sometimes we think, which is unconscious thinking, and we don't know that we are thinking. How? For example, if you forget an old name of your friend and it came to your brain suddenly, how to care? Now I don't remember him. I don't search for his name, but it came alone. It means that at this time you are unconsciously think about him. Sometimes a solution of a problem you usually search for several times. You try to search, but you don't find. So you leave this a problem and you go to your life doing anything. But by time you face or you suddenly found in your brain that you have find the solution. It means that you are actually thinking during this part, which is silent, and you don't know that you are thinking, although you are saying sometimes post hypnotic suggestion and slips of tongue and pencil sometimes people saying something by his tongue and he don't mean this it's actually that he say what he are thinking in abstract thinking and concrete thinking abstract thinking it means that it is a one way of classification of thinking according to form. Abstract thinking means that the people can abstract or can get the meaning outside or behind the sentence. So sometimes people say something but they don't mean the actual or the what is written by name itself. But they mean what is behind this. For example, if we say people who live in glass house they should not throw the stone here we don't mean that people in live actually in glass house because many people don't live in glass house but we say this because we mean that you don't if you have a problem in your life don't try to rush others or to attack others because you're you have a problem that people will crush you or doing low so and this proverb, so the meaning, hidden meaning, is the word we need to catch. If the people catch the hidden meaning, it is called abstract thinking. <coughs> While concrete thinking is, concreteness means the individual cannot reach the proper conclusion through lack of understanding of the meaning and false concept formation. Now, uh, the brain and the cognition. What's the brain and the cognition, or what's the brain area responsible for cognitive function? In past, in past, we have to study cognition or the brain area in the cognition, depending on the observation of various effect of people, what various effect of brain damage, disease, accident, and we make. After the people are dead, so it's usually done after this, and we examine this uh, uh, post mortem or post this, and uh, we find the area responsible for this. Recently, we use what is a function brain imaging, like PET, MRI, and observation the function was doing cognitive task without any surgery or doing anything. We find that. Thinking is an integrative process, include perception, thinking, perception, speech, memory, learning, emotion, motiv motiv uh, motives, uh, intelligence, motor, visceral reaction. Thinking is the outcome function of all perceptual area of the brain and through their connection with associative area in the presence of interaction ascending reticular formation. Speech, the dominant hemisphere contains the ideational center for speech, which is in the supramarginal and angular gyrus. Cognitive function originated in the part of the brain called cerebrum, which is cerebral cortex, and it made in four brain area of the loop of four loops, which is frontal loop, temporal loop, parietal loop, and occipital loop. Each area each loop have area which carries specific tasks which is important in thinking. 
Some tasks such as reading, speaking, learning considered uh, a relation or coordinating process from manipulative multiple from multiple area of cerebrum and cerebral hemisphere. So we don't have only one area, but multiple connection with multiple area of the brain. So we have function organization of the brain. We have several area and this area working together to do its action. We have many neurotransmitter play rules in thinking. <clears throat> First, GABA, and GABA is known as inhibitory neurotransmitter. Usually, it's used to balance different neurotransmitter, and it's used by the brain to inhibit any other information came from different part. It's so you know, it can be used as inhibitory neurotransmitter for to background that I don't want to perceive or think. Dopamine secretion in the brain is responsible for person's emotional state and its ability to concentrate and ability to learn. Serotonin secretion is responsible to sensory input and receive to the five senses, and it also plays roles in moods. Brain hemisphere cognitive function requires signal transmission to travel between right and left hemisphere of the brain. Right hemisphere of the brain is responsible for spatial ability such as music, face recognition, and visual imaging, and this is usually occur more in girls than men. Girls are have very good ability in music and face recognition, and this more than men. While men is more talented in logical ability such as reasoning problem solving and mathematics and so and this is the function of left hemisphere of the brain if we have received retinal image and this retinal image as we say before it will be processed to primary visual cortex in contrast to thinking and then from this to associative area to perceive perception temporal loop is the visual information is sent to temporal loop to say what we see which is naming recognition and memory associated for this its place for face and place processing to detect who is this and where is this and we have vernix area which is important language area in the comprehensive it's located in temporal loop and associated temporal loop uh, home uh, for auditory complex and sound processing while parietal loop if the information passed to parietal loop it give information about where where the situation occur where this occur and make the location it defines the place of sensory memory and the perception of its integration this loop is most commonly associated with spatial processing and it is here that external visual external visual and environmental based coordinated may be translated into internal and body based coordinated and vice versa frontal loop and the frontal loop is the set of executive function decision making here the information is monitored and bones and cone are considered in the frontal loop it is related to memory, emotion, and personality, the place of motor processing, and in the left hemisphere, broca's area are present, and it is responsible for language production can be found here. Last, the cognitive test. What is cognitive test? Cognitive test is used to describe the process of individual ability to think, to solve the problem, to concentrate, to remember, to respond. And this cognitive process justifies the subject everyday behavior. It can be affected by either disease, injury, drugs, or even chain. The damage to the brain either by disease, injury can often give rise to the problem with cognition. One of the most common scale for cognitive function is mini mental state examination. How many mental state is done? First orientation. We have five questions. Every one of these is giving one score. For example, what is the year? It gives one. What is the season? Two. Rate, uh, date, day, 
and the and months so the person giving good or correct answer for any one of these it can get you can get out uh, of five of five answer what is the time <clears throat> this orientation to time also the orientation to the place state country town hospital after that registration you name three object for one second for each then ask the patient to repeat this all three object if he say them three correctly you can give three then repeat until he and she learn uh, all the three count and record the time and make the trial attention and the calculation we can calculate serial 7 subtraction from 10 for example you can say if you have 10 and we have to subtract 7 how the answer another 7 another 7 you can do this for 5 times if he go well and making the 5 correct answer it is good attention recall you ask him to repeat the three objects you already say before and to remember give one point for each correct answer language you have to say or you have to ask him to name something you give something and say say the name for this for pencil for watch for something <coughs> repeats the following no ifs ands and buts follow the three stage command you can say for him take this and give this to someone take this paper in your hand fold it in half and put it in the floor there is three command in one you can do read and obey the following if you write for in the paper close your eye and ask him to do he read what is written and he do what is already written write a sentence copy a design design like what is read uh, is what's draw here he can copy the same design and this is the language total score would be 30 if the person <coughs> having a score is for in this 30 25 to 30 it is normal mild cognitive impairment from 21 to 24 <coughs> moderate cognitive impairment from 10 to 20 and severe cognitive impairment of 9 at the last you remember this puzzle the answer will be again this puzzle do you remember this is the answer and this is the answer for the can thank you and i hope you are very good listening and understanding thank you goodbye